Welcome, I'm Tom Avanellis, my wife. And I'm Karen Avanellis. And we're the founders and owners of Quiet Metal Farms in Oregon. Uh, we've been blessed to be in the farming business our entire life. Uh, we focused on regenerative and organic farming programs in blueberries, citrus, now kiwi berries, hazelnuts, and table grapes. Uh, it's been a lifelong passion of ours. And uh, most recently, we've evolved into the breeding business for Dutch warmbloods, uh, which has been a tremendous blessing for us. We started out with a Dutch mare from the Netherlands that Willie Arts had brought over when she was about six and a half or seven years old. Today she's 20 years old, um, but she's a lovely mare with a very quiet mind. And what we realized after we purchased her is she's from a very nice mare line. And um, we decided, because she's an elite mare, to go ahead and breed. Now my husband, being a farmer and a businessman, realize that it's it's actually more economical if you have two or three mares and you start a breeding farm so here we are and it's been wonderful we're having so much fun with these horses because they're intelligent they're expressive they're fun to ride they're fun to raise and um, we love the industry The other thing that's made it really interesting for us is Dr. Ryan Ferris at Summit Equine. He's only 45 minutes north of us, and he is such a wonderful resource for all of the fertility. He's helped us understand how to do embryo transfer. Now we're doing ICSI. We have an ICSI program with one of our mares, and we're just excited to, to um, produce some really high quality horses. As we really had a passion for the industry, we've been very blessed, both by the great support from KWPN, mm -hmm. uh, by the great support from uh, Dan and Gina Rudiger with uh, Sonnenberg Farms, and with Willie Arts from DG Bar. Um, the lifelong passion they have for this industry, not many other industries do you have this type of camaraderie, where it's still extremely competitive, of course, but there's a fellowship that comes with it. And it's really where our heart is too, to create the opportunities for a complete wide range of riders, balanced both with tremendous athleticism and structure and abilities, along with great minds. What we've learned is from the KWPN North America is we need to pay attention to this industry, especially in the U.S., because we need younger people to come into this industry to carry it on. So we're hoping here in the Pacific Northwest to encourage some amateur friendly people, equestrians and even some upper level riders um, to purchase uh, some very nice horses and compete and do very well with them.
and the farm is a great place to take the horses and hack out. It's great for their minds. It's it's great for their um, their athleticism and getting them ready for the show ring because they all need to go out and have some fun. So here they've got a great opportunity to do that. Our youngsters will get to be out. They'll get to hack out early in their life and they see farm equipment, they see people working out in the fields, they get exposed to so many things here on the farm that really help them come into their, their young adulthood and, and their adolescent years well, being exposed to so many different things. Thank you for joining us. Uh, this is, would be a blessing for you to come see us and we look forward to connecting. Come see us because we love to take you out in the blueberry fields. We start harvesting after the 4th of July and we would love to have you come and taste and see what we do. Thank you very much. Thanks.